Let's configure the AnyConnect Umbrella Roaming Module with Trusted Network Detection. So we're going to start in our Umbrella Console, and the only thing we need to do here is download a particular piece of configuration. Uh, it's a JSON file that configures the Umbrella Roaming Module for AnyConnect. So to do that after login, I'll go to Deployments, Roaming Computers, and then in the upper right, I have this roaming client download. I'll scroll down a bit since I've zoomed in here. You'll see there's a couple of agent downloads here. Now, this is to download the standalone, what we call enterprise roaming client, which is uh, not part of any connect. This is meant for customers that are using the roaming client uh, without any connect or perhaps with a, a another vendor's VPN tool, et cetera. Uh, but we are uh, going to integrate any connect. So we want to download the module profile. And uh, this is a very small JSON file you see here that I have downloaded. Now, let's perform the rest of the configuration in ASDM, or Active Security Device Manager. This is the GUI that's built into the ASA firewall. Now, I'm going to start with a device that's already been configured for basic VPN connectivity. So the device is bootstrapped, IP addresses, routing, and so on. And I have a configured AnyConnect connection profile. I'm using just the, the, the built-in one, what's called the default web VPN group. Most customers would, would create a custom connection profile, uh, but I already have this working the way I want it. And the only thing I want to do now is add on the umbrella roaming client. So uh, there's two things I need to do to enable this. The first is to configure what's called an AnyConnect client profile for the umbrella roaming module. So you'll see I have a AnyConnect VPN profile here, which we'll get to in a bit. But for now, let's add an Umbrella profile. So add and go down to Umbrella Roaming Security Profile. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it Umbrella. And I need to upload that JSON file that I downloaded a few minutes ago. So I'll click Upload. Browse Local Files. There's my orginfo.json upload file. Okay, so now I have my uh, file uploaded and I need to assign this to a group policy. And again, typically you would create a custom group policy for your VPN profile. I'm just using the default one here. This linkage here uh, is important because if I don't choose this this group policy when a user connects and is assigned this group policy they won't end up getting this umbrella security profile pushed down to them so it's pretty important so uh, i'll set there and i'll click the ok button and then apply all right so at this point uh, if a user connects in on uh, that connection profile that is assigned to this default group policy this um this uh, umbrella roaming security profile will be pushed down to them, by the way, in addition to this uh, roaming user VPN profile, because it's also assigned to the same group policy. Now, there's one more thing I need to do, because the act of just assigning this umbrella roaming security profile will push down this uh, JSON settings file to umbrella, but uh, it won't actually push down the umbrella software module for any connect. To do that, we have to go into our group policies, and again, I only have one here, and in editing that, I'll go into my settings for AnyConnect, and I can choose which uh, modules I want pushed down to AnyConnect when a user is assigned this group policy. So you can see our client profiles to download because we assign those uh, in the uh, AnyConnect client profile configuration. And if I forgot to do it there, I could do it here. Uh, but now we have our optional client modules to download. And I want to push down Umbrella. So when a user connects with uh, the AnyConnect Secure Mobility client, that will ensure that the Umbrella roaming module also gets pushed down to them. So I can choose any modules I want to push down. Uh, I will often pick Dart, which is the diagnostic uh, module, by the way. But let's just uh, stick with the AnyConnect Umbrella Roaming Security Module. Click OK. And uh, you see it in the field here. And now when I save this, uh, that will ensure that whenever a VPN user connects in, is assigned this profile, they'll get uh, that Umbrella Roaming Module uh, pushed down. And because I have the AnyConnect Client Profile called Umbrella, uh, also assigned to that default group policy, 
that will likewise make sure that the the actual policy that ties that user to my umbrella organization will also get pushed down and believe it or not we're done that that will complete all the configuration uh, for umbrella roaming uh, however I do want to make sure that uh, when that user takes their laptop into our office environment, I, I want the umbrella roaming module to not run. I, I want it to basically uh, go into a, uh, a wait mode, a sleep mode, if you will, because I want my on-premises firewall and DNS policies uh, to take effect. So um, that brings us to the trusted network detection capability. Now, we'll point out uh, if the corporate network is running um, what are called uh, umbrella virtual appliances, the DNS servers that you can download and install for free from your umbrella portal, the client is smart enough to detect those uh, already and will we'll defer to those uh, based upon a, a checkbox setting in your umbrella portal. But I'm going to take it one step further. Whenever the client is brought into my corporate environment, I don't want this umbrella roaming module to load. So to do that, I need to configure trusted network detection, and that is configured inside of a VPN profile. Now I've configured one here. I'll edit it and just show you the, the couple things that I've done. Um, uh, namely, uh, what we need to do to configure uh, the trusted network detection is go to our part two of our preferences, and if we scroll down, we can enable this automatic VPN policy. Now, the settings you have here uh, tell on any connect what to do when it is on a trusted network, in which case I want it to disconnect, uh, and what to do if it's on an untrusted network. Now, uh, the default setting here is to automatically connect. This can be quite handy, uh, especially if you view something like certificates for authentication, because as a, the device enters and leaves a corporate network, it will automatically bring up the VPN, for example, when the device is brought home and, and gets on the user's home internet. Uh, however, if you're not using certificates, that means that whenever that device detects an internet connection that's not the corporate environment, it's, it's going to attempt a any connect connection and prompt the cur for credentials, which can be a bit annoying if you don't actually want to bring up the VPN. So I'll choose do nothing for this untrusted policy. Now, uh, this gets to our settings to teach any connect how to know if it's connected to the corporate network. And what you're meant to do here is put in your trusted domain. So I have my uh, fictitious company here that I'll, I'll put in my, my internal domain name. And uh, any connect will detect if it gets this, this DNS domain name assigned to it by DHCP. And the other thing that you're meant to do here is put in your uh, DNS servers, your server IP addresses that uh, would be assigned on the corporate network. Now, for many customers, this can be a huge list of DNS servers, which makes this particular method of, of, uh, of uh, training trusted network detection a bit impractical. Uh, and for those environments, we offer the, another option, and this is the trusted servers configuration. And as you can see, this does need to be HTTPS, but the idea here is you can put in some, some uh, uh, FQDNs or IP addresses of some uh, internal web servers in the organization. And of course, the, the idea here is these would be servers that are not accessible outside of the trusted network. And any connect will attempt to reach out to these servers and they'll actually match the certificate hash for the TLS certificate to make sure it's not being spoofed. And uh, this is a more, more elegant way or sophisticated way to detect a trusted network without potentially having to put a gigantic list of DNS servers. In my case, I only have two, so uh, no big deal. I'm just gonna configure those two. And, uh, and I'm, I'm done with trusted network uh, detection. Now in our roaming computers section on the umbrella dashboard, I can see the roaming computer settings for both the enterprise roaming client, which would be this middle section here, and then settings that are common to either the enterprise roaming client or the, the AnyConnect uh, umbrella roaming module. So uh, the, the ones that are important here, this first setting will disable DNS re uh, redirection whenever the roaming module or the enterprise client detects it's on an umbrella protected network. Now, this may not necessarily be uh, protecting this client with my umbrella uh, policy, so I, I like to leave that one off. Uh, the other settings that are pretty important down here are the respect 
AnyConnect Trusted Network Detection, uh, as well as disable roaming client while full tunnel is uh, uh, established. So the first one, of course, will tell AnyConnect that uh, will tell the roaming module to uh, turn itself off if it's on a trusted network uh, based upon that trusted network detection. And this setting obviously will also tell the roaming module to disable itself whenever there's a full VPN tunnel up, which is effectively uh, similar to a trusted network uh, detection capability there. Uh, I also like to uh, tell it to automatically update itself and enable IPv6 redirection as well. It's time to test AnyConnect in the Umbrella roaming client. Now, the first thing I like to do is just validate that I am not behind an umbrella protected network already. And we can do this by going to welcome.umbrella.com and you'll get this red air message that uh, lets you know that you're not being protected by umbrella. Uh, if you are, you'll, you'll get a, a different message with a green background. Uh, so I'd like to get that out of the way just for uh, troubleshooting purposes. Now I'll go ahead and connect to my ASA head end. And when I put in my credentials, we'll see that uh, immediately the AnyConnect downloader will start. And since I've told the ASA to push down that module, that's been downloaded to me along with that umbrella profile. Now AnyConnect is connected. I'll go ahead and bring that back up. And we can see that uh, I, I'm connected to my VPN head end. And it took a minute there, if you caught it, but the uh, umbrella roaming module is now active. Uh, and the green means I'm being protected. Now, if I go back to my test site here and just, uh, we'll see. Now I uh, am being protected by umbrella, so everything is working just fine. And um, in this instance, uh, disconnecting the VPN, um, you'll see that my uh, roaming security will also remain active because I'm not on the trusted network. Now, if I move this device over to the trusted network, I'll get a different behavior. I've moved my test client off of the internet connection it was on and moved it onto my internal network. And now we can see that VPN has detected it as on a trusted network. So our trusted network detection settings that we put in place earlier are working. Now you'll see for roaming security, it still shows umbrella is active, but as we explained earlier, trusted network detection um, should have shut that off, but what Umbrella is actually telling you here is that we're still being protected by Umbrella. Um, it's just not using the roaming client, uh, roaming client services anymore. And we can validate that by going into the uh, AnyConnect details screen uh, and clicking on roaming security. And we can see here our IPv4 DNS protection status it says protected virtual appliance. And that means uh, because we're behind that uh, that uh, private network and we happen to be behind a uh, umbrella virtual appliance here so in this case our enforcement status uh, is being provided by that virtual appliance um, dns encryption is off because we're not using the umbrella uh, roaming module capabilities and we don't have ipv4 enforcement uh, uh, enabled in this setting as well so trusted network detection working properly and our roaming client working properly when we're on network by disabling itself.